friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to make a pink ruffled hair scrunchie. For this project, you're going to need a hair elastic. I've got one of these thick black hair elastics, but you can use whatever you've got on hand. You'll also need a crochet hook. I'll be using a 4.5 millimeter hook today. Of course, you're going to need some yarn. I have some scrap balls that are left over from other projects, so I'm going to be using these three different colors of pink. And of course, you'll need some scissors. We'll also also need a yarn needle to weave in our ends. So gather your supplies and let's jump in. I'm gonna begin with the dark pink yarn today. Pick up your elastic and insert the hook into the middle of the elastic. Then grabbing your yarn, yarn over the hook and pull it through that same elastic loop. Then with both tails, we're going to yarn over and chain one. And now we can drop the tail part of our yarn and our yarn is now secured to the elastic. Now what we're gonna do next is going to be single crochets. So that chain one that we just did there is gonna be our first single crochet. Next, we'll insert the hook back into the center of the elastic, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. And then we just did another single crochet and we're single crocheting over the elastic, kind of acting like this is our magic loop or our first row. So there's two single crochets in that loop now. Insert the hook into the elastic, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. There's three. Now I'm going to single crochet around until my elastic is totally full. This number may be different depending on how big your elastic is, how long it is, and how much it stretches. But I'm guessing I'm probably gonna be somewhere in the range of 20 to 30 stitches. I'll let you know once I've filled up my elastic and I'll show you what it looks like. But just single crochet as many times as you can fit into the elastic. You'll see you'll start filling up the space around the elastic and when your elastic is completely covered meet me back here and I'll show you what it's supposed to look like and how many stitches I ended up with. Here's what the elastic is looking like with 50 single crochets into the elastic. What we need though is to make sure that when we stretch the elastic all the way the stitches are going to match up with each other. So I still have a few more stitches to put into this elastic to make it work. So I think I'm gonna end up with actually 60 stitches into this elastic. All right, here is where it's looking like at 60 stitches. So now I'm going to slip stitch to join my round. If you hear any muttering sounds in the back that sound a little weird and alien, my bird's on my shoulder right now. So there may be some chit chat. All right, so I'll insert into the first chain one we started the round with, yarn over, pull the stitch through, pull it through, and now we've created a round all the way around our elastic. I can pull that loop and now I can show you. You can still see the elastic through when it's at full stretch, but all the stitches, there's a lot of room. So it, there's nothing pulling. The stitches have enough room to stretch out. And there we go. So if you wanna be super basic with it, this can be uh, just a simple elastic cover the way it is right now, but we're going to make it a cute little scrunchie by continuing our rounds and making it a little bit more ruffled and fun. So to do that, we're gonna start with a chain of two. Now let's get into round number two. For round two, we're going to start with two double crochets at the base of the chain one. So there's one double crochet. If you're new to crochet, here's a double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So there's our chain two, and now there's two double crochets coming out of that stitch. In the next stitch, we'll just do one double crochet. In the stitch after that, we're gonna put two double crochets. There's one, and there's two. And then in the stitch after that, one double crochet. And after that, two double crochets. And after that, 
one double crochet. And at the end of round number two, you should end up with 90 stitches in your round. So just work your way around and I will meet you at the end of round number two to show you what we're gonna do next to continue on this ruffled scrunchie. Here I am coming up to the end of round number two. I've just done one double crochet and now in my last stitch here, I'm gonna put two double crochets, one and two. And then the chain two that we started our round with represents one double crochet. So we have the two here, the two here, and then one where the chain two comes out of. And now we're gonna be joining our round. You can see by doing those two double crochets, we've increased the number of stitches in the round, which creates this sort of light ruffling on our scrunchie. But before we join the stitch, I am going to cut my yarn here and I'm gonna switch colors. I'm gonna go in with a pale pink now and I will just get my new yarn. I'll insert the hook into the top of the chain two to join the round. And then I'll yarn over with the hot pink as well as the new pink we're gonna work with. And I'll pull both of them through that slip stitch, just like that. Then I'll drop the tails again and start round number three with a chain of one. Now let's get into round number three. Now for round number three, the chain one we did there is going to be our first single crochet in this stitch. Next, we're going to be working in the space between the double crochets. For this row, for this round rather, we're gonna be inserting our hook between the double crochet posts rather than into the top of the stitch like we normally would, like this. We're gonna be inserting the, the hook in between the stitches like that. We're gonna be starting right here in the spot where two double crochets are coming out of the same stitch. In that space, we are gonna put three double crochets. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. And now in the next two spaces, we're gonna put one single crochet in each. So you can see the next spot where two double crochets come out of one spot, but we have this spot where two double, one double crochet comes out and this spot. So in that first one, we'll do one single crochet. In the next one, we'll do one single crochet. And now we're back at a spot where two double crochets are coming out of the same space. In that space between, we'll put three double crochets. There's one. There's two. And there's three. And now we have two more spaces with just one double crochet. So in this spa big space here and this big space here, we'll put one single crochet in each of those spaces. There's one. And the next one, there's one. And now we're back at a spot where two double crochets are coming out of one spot. And in that space, we'll put three double crochets. And by changing the stitch from double crochet to single crochet, we're creating kind of like petals, like the stitch is going to be taller where the double crochets are and shorter where the single crochets are. So if you have a look, it creates this sort of rounded petal look. And we're going to continue that all the way around for round number three. Three double crochets coming out of one spot, two single crochets, three double crochets coming out of one spot, and then two single crochets. And I'm gonna repeat that all the way around for round number three, and I'll meet you at the end of the round to show you what we're gonna do next to keep working on this ruffled scrunchie. Here I am just about at the end of round three. You can see how ruffly this has gotten by doing those petals and it's looking super cute. So now I've just done my last three double crochets in one spot. I'll put my last single crochet in and then the chain one we started the round with is our second single crochet. So I'm gonna join the round with a slip stitch here, but I'm gonna trim my yarn and we're gonna switch in to this pale pink now. We are on almost the last row. I think we're on our second last row now. So I'm gonna yarn over with the old yarn as well as with the new yarn. And then we will pull 
through and slip stitch to join the round. Now I'll drop my tails, chain one, and now let's get into round number four. Now for round number four, we're gonna be working in the back loops only. So I'm gonna start with a single crochet in the back loop of the first stitch. This first stitch is a little tight because it's where our round is joined to here. There we go. Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. There we go. So that's our first double crochet. Now in the second double crochet of the round here, we're going to put two double crochets. There's one and two. Now we're going to treat these groupings of three double crochets as little petals. The middle double crochet in each three, we're gonna put two double crochets in. Otherwise, all the rest of these stitches, we're gonna just put one single crochet in. So I'm gonna single crochet until I get to that next middle stitch. So there'll be one double crochet with single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, and then the first double crochet out of the next grouping of three. And then we're at the second double crochet out of a grouping of three. And in that second double crochet, we'll put two double crochets. There's one and there's two. And then we're at the third double crochet. So we'll put a single crochet in there. Then we'll have two single crochets that we'll put a single crochet in each. There's one and there's two. Now we're back at our next little petal here. So the first double crochet, we'll put a single crochet in. The second double crochet, we will put a double crochet in. Again, we're only working in the back loops only, and we'll put two double crochets in there. I'll show you why at the end of this round we're doing back loops only. It's gonna be a very cool little trick to double our ruffles. So I'm just gonna repeat that all the way around, single crochet in each stitch, back loops only, except for the middle double crochet in every grouping of three double crochets, where you're gonna put two double crochet stitches. And I'll see you at the end of this round to show you what we're gonna do next. How cute is this looking? So much ruffliness. All right, so I'm just about at the end of my round, round number one, two, three, four. Putting my last little petal of double crochets in here. And then I have a single crochet. And then one more single crochet. And now I'm going to join the round with a slip stitch again. And this time, after joining with a slip stitch, I'll chain one. And for round number five, we're going to be kind of working round number four again, but this time in the front loops only. So for the last round, we did single crochet, single crochet, two double crochets, single crochet, single crochet. So four single crochets, two double crochets coming out of the same spot, four single crochets, two double crochets coming out of the same spot. We're gonna do the exact same repeat, but this time we're gonna do it in the front loops of round number three. So we are doing round five technically, but at this point we're going to be working kind of one row prior. So we're gonna ignore round number four that we just did. So there's a single crochet and now I'm at the spot where the two double crochets come out of. So in that front loop, I'll put two double crochets. There's one and there's two. And then in the next four stitches, I'll put one single crochet in each. Again, just in the front loop. One, two, three, and four. And then in the next stitch, two double crochets. And there's one. And there's two. Now let me show you what that's looking like, how it splits our row into two rows, which doubles our ruffle at the end of the work. See? So we're gonna have our main ruffles, and then at the edge of the work, it'll be even wider because we've got two little rows of ruffles right next to each other. Isn't that interesting? Such a cool little technique. So I'm gonna repeat the same thing all the way around, but this time just in the front loops of the work. Four single crochets, 
two double crochets coming out of the same stitch, four single crochets, two double crochets coming out of the same stitch. So I'll meet you at the end of round number five, which is working into round number three, and I'll see you at the end of the round to show you what we're gonna do to finish off this project. All right, here I am at the end of the round, and you can see now by doing one round through the back loops and one round through the front loops, we create this sort of spliced ruffle at the edge of the work. And I think that is so cute. All right, so now it's time to finish up the round. I'm gonna put my last single crochet into the front loop only. It's a little snug. There we go. And now I will join the round with a slip stitch. And I'm gonna pull it through. I'm gonna cut my yarn here and I'm gonna weave in that end. But before we're finished with this, I'm going to go around with these ruffles and I'm gonna pull on them. Every time I come to those double crochets, I'm just gonna pull them apart to get as much volume on the edge of this scrunchie as possible. And I'll meet you once I've woven in that end and pulled apart all these ruffles. Ta-da! It's finished! I love this double ruffle around the outside. It makes it so cute. You can wear it as your, you know, scrunchy bracelet. I know that's super in with the youths these days, but also as a hair elastic, this is so cute. Look at all the ruffles on a little ponytail. Let me try it on. Ta-da! Come on. That's so cute, look how cute it is. Super ruffly, so fun. Ah, oh, so what do you think? I really love that double ruffle. I think I'm gonna try that on other things, the front loop only and back loop only row of ruffles. And we created those little petals and you can kind of organize the ruffles if you want it to be a more organized sort of situation. But if you just use it as a hair elastic, it comes across so cute, so sweet and so whimsical. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you're gonna be making yourself a super ruffled scrunchie and what colors are you gonna do yours in. I feel like you could do a bunch of different things with this in order to make it look like a flower or a donut maybe. I love the pink though. I'm kind of obsessed with pink right now. Look how cute it is. Let me just organize these ruffles nice and organized all the way around. <laughs> Anyway, friends, thanks so much for watching and thank you to everyone supporting the channel this month. Here is the list of channel supporters. If you would like to show your support as well, check out the links in the description box down below. All the ways to support will be listed there. Anyways, friends, that's all I've got. So I'll see you next week. Bye.